Welcome, welcome to family time. Starting without a table today, starting, well, we'll explore and discover as we go on. Let's pray as we begin. Lord, thank you for family time. Thank you for sustaining us in this week, for bringing us to this point where we can share once more as a family, as a group together, as church together. And pray that you will bless all that we uh, think of and uh, experience in these moments together now. Amen. Amen. And actually, talking about experiencing together, I realise I haven't quite got everything on board to see who's appearing. So just bear with me while I look. But what I was thinking we could look at this week is simply thinking about summer. Because, do you know what, it was only halfway through this week I looked at the diary and suddenly thought, it's the last week of August. And then someone reminded me it's Bank Holiday Monday, which means... That's almost summer over. And it means, of course, for many of us, um, or many of you maybe, you'll be going back into school, going into college, whatever you're doing. Um, for parents who are teachers, you're doing those last moments of preparation, getting ready for, for, for school. And I thought, well, let's think about summer and what's it, what it's been and be thankful for what we've been able to do. Because, of course, it's a time when, ah, yes, we are on, that's always good. Um, oh, let's turn it off. Uh, and oh, now my machine is not, let, oh, I don't know what's happened. I can see you all and now I can't see you. Now it's, oh, 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 how annoying. But um, yes, thankfulness. I thought we could quickly think about what it is you might have done over, over summer, okay? So, let, ooh, I, the, so, hello, <laughs> Keely, Keely, hello, welcome to you and to Bobby, lovely to see you with us this morning. I see that there are others on um, with, with the numbers, but it's lovely that you're all with us. So, what is it that you were doing over summer, I wonder? Now, I know for some folk, um, us two, we're talking with Alexandre, he went to Stubbers for something. So, um, I don't know what you did there, Alexander. It was just exciting to know you've been able to go to Stubbers. But I know you can do um, you can do canoeing there. Maybe you did a bit of canoeing. Maybe a bit of... Oh, I'm going backwards. Go backwards as I'm canoeing there. Maybe you did a little bit of um, archery. Did you do a little bit of archery, Alexander? Oh, oh missed again. I bet you did better than that. Oh, I wonder what you did. But... Went to Stubbers, had an exciting time, maybe climbing, or there's so much that you could do there. So maybe that's what some of you did. If you're not at Stubbers, you went somewhere exciting. Um, maybe you had a total staycation, not even just in Britain, but you just stayed at home and explored new areas. Maybe you even went to this extent where you got your magnifying glass out, went into the back garden, and you were studying things on the ground, finding odd new insects and the like. Maybe you did that. Maybe you did get away and got out to the beach. Now that was a very hot summer, wasn't it? Was it one of those where you had to slap on the, slap on the lotion and keep yourself protected? Or was it one of those where you actually, you were peeling on the coat and, zipping up the coat because it was so cold, maybe. But whatever it was, I bet you still had an ice cream, didn't you? 99? One of my favourites. Mmm. Oh, 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 oh. Brain burn. Oh, freeze burn. Oh, oh. Anyway, I'm going to put that aside and have that later. So, maybe you, you did that. What about, um, did any of you visit some gardens or museums or, or something like that? I think these days you've got a book to go, you can't just pop along. But maybe you spent a day looking at the wonders of creation, how it's been nurtured by gardeners and got beautiful flowers, just... Mmm, very nice. That's the roses there and a big, big, um, uh, I, I, I don't know, uh, big trees in the distance. All sorts of different things that you may have gone and seen. Maybe you had a few special days catching up with family. You haven't seen family for so long and it was just 
at last, after months or maybe even over a year, you finally caught up and saw family. The question is, how did you greet them? Was it one of those where, oh, oh no, we're still not allowed to touch, or did it not matter and you just went running up to whoever it was and you just flung your arms around them and gave them the biggest hug in the world? I wonder which one it was when you caught up with family. But hopefully it was a great time as well. I wonder if some of you may have had some of that summer catch-up work to do. So you had to do a little bit of writing or maybe typing, had to do some work. Yeah, not so good. But it, it will pay benefits this year as you go back into school when you get asked a question, who knows this, that or the other, and your hand can be up and answering the question straight away. So maybe, hopefully, that will pay off. And maybe some of you simply had a few nice family times. Maybe you played a few board games, rolled the dice, ha, moved double six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, landed on Park Lane with all the hotels. Oh no, that's me bankrupt. Or if it wasn't a board game, maybe you just sat and had some lovely meals together where you sat and had the best food and Mmm, 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 sorry, mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, delicious. I'm not going to tell you what I ate. I wonder what it was that you ate, what delicious food you had to make you think, mmm, maybe it was just the ice cream again. That would be good enough for me. Whatever you did, I hope and pray that you had a good summer. There are ups and downs, of course, but I hope that in it all, you are able to be thankful for all that God has provided, all that Messy Church provided as well. We've still got the trail around the garden at the moment. The bee trail is down, but there's a, there's a tree trail now to explore some of the trees and think about God's creation in the churchyard. So thanks to Messy Church for that. There's still stuff you can do in the last two or three days. But I hope and pray that you, you, you knew thankfulness to God for all that he provided. And I hope and pray that as you go into term this week or next week, whenever it is, you can be filled with excitement and hope for all that's going to happen in the year ahead. We do still have worries and concerns. Of course we do. Especially schools coming back and all that sort of thing. But... We look forward and we look with hope and we trust in God in all that we do. So, shall we pray and pray for all those things? Pray thankfulness, but pray for the future as well. Dear God, we thank you for all that we've been able to do over summer. When earlier in the year it seemed we might not be able to do anything, I hope and pray we have done stuff and we've been able to enjoy time relaxing and away from the worries and cares of the world and instead just being with loved ones and also being with you Lord and as we look forward into this week schools going back colleges universities later on whatever it may be we pray that you would be with us in all our hopes and dreams for the future carry us and help us be excited for all that is up, that, that's coming up. And in advance we thank you because we know you will be there with us. And so hold us always, Lord, and help us to grow in our knowledge and love of you, to know that you are there day by day. Amen. 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 Okay, so let's just see. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. It's great to see that people have been on and sharing with us. If you're joining later in the week, maybe you're joining after you've started school and think, oh, I just need something to look at instead of thinking about school. Whatever it may be, I pray God's blessing on you and pray that we will gather again for family time soon and that you will know God's peace and blessing and everything in this week ahead. So God bless and bye for now. Now. I realise there's nothing to uh, point the camera at the end, so... Uh, I, think just... you sh I think you should s strike a pose, Kent, and hold it. And just freeze it. Absolutely. What sort of pose mm. should I do? Yeah, what could you I, do? I, I do like my archery one. <laughs>
Oh, yes. Yeah, that looks very Yes, that looks very sculpted. Sculpted. Towards the camera or to the side. Or to the side, can I think to the side yeah. is safer. Yeah. Just in case. And yeah. we can see how long you can hold it for then as well, can't we? It's still a challenge. Oh, thanks for that. Right, well, let's get my bow. And let's get myself ready. Bing, bing, bing. Right. Is my arm moving yet? Uh, no, I think you're doing really well, Ken. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yeah, I think you're doing brilliantly. Okay. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. Look. <laughs> I think I'm well done, Ken. Go. Well done, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hit the outer ring at least. I'm getting better. God bless. Bye for now.